before we start, I suggest you tie yourself to whatever chair you're sitting in because this is going to be a fucking ride. For those of you who have your head stuck on the rock, which apparently is the majority of this chapter, then we have been fucking up in terms of nighttime events and general social interactions with Sigma Nu. I have gotten texts on texts about people being so fucking awkward and so fucking boring. And if you say to yourself right now, Oh, OMG, Julia, but I've been having so much fun with my sisters this week. You have 361 days out of the fucking year to talk to your sisters, and this week is not. I fucking repeat, not one of them. This week is about fostering relationships with the Greek community, and that's not fucking possible if you fucking stand in the corner talking to each other and not a fucking matchup. Cause news flash is stupid cocks. Facts don't like stupid sororities. Double news flash. Sigma Nu is not gonna wanna hang out with us if we fucking suck. Oh, and just in case you idiot need me to you know spell it out for you, we fucking suck so far. Are people fucking retarded? No, no it. It's not a rhetorical question. I literally want you to stop me right now. Tell me if you're fucking mentally slow or something so I can make sure you don't go to any more nighttime events. No? Okay. Well then how the fuck would you feel Sigma Nu were like, Oh yeah, let's invite Zeta over. Yes, konnichiwa, please. Would that make you happy? Would it? I don't think it fucking would. So why the fuck would you do it to them in front of them? First of all, you shouldn't even be post-gaming at other flats. I don't give a fuck if your boyfriend in it or if your brother in it or if you're one tie your fucking family in it you don't go you don't go and you especially don't convince other girls to go with you oh oh but julia you say in your little whiny bitch voice but i've been going to all sports events cheering on our teams you know doesn't that count for something no it fucking doesn't you stupid fucking ass hat do you want to know fucking why it doesn't fucking count because you've been fucking up a super event too <laughs> like that was possible. <laughs> I have been getting texts about people being fucking weird at sports. You know, oh, oh, for example, being weird shit and saying shit like, uh, what's kickball? Oh, I don't know what kickball is. It's not fucking funny. It's not fucking funny. I've also gotten texts about people actually cheering for the opposing team. The opposing fucking team. You cheer for our goddamn team, not the other one. Have you never been to a sports game before? I will seriously cunt Punt! The next person I hear doing something like this, I don't give a fuck. If you SOR me, I will fucking assault you! <laughs> Julia! Oh, you made me also sad. I'm crying now, you know? <laughs> well, good! Because if any of this applies to you in any way, meaning, oh, I'm so fucking ass hot, I stand in the corner at night, or you're some weird shit who does like weird shit during the day, then this message is for you. Don't go to tonight's event. Seriously. Don't go. I'm not kidding. If you have done any of these things and have some, you know, oh, rare ass disease, I don't know what's going on, unable to do not do these things, you are horrible. And I repeat, horrible PR for this chapter. I would rather have 40 girls who are fun, talk to boys and not awkward, than 80 girls who are fucking faggots. Seriously, if I see anyone being a fucking boner at tonight's event, I will literally tell you to leave. Even if you're sober. I don't give a fuck. And for those of you who are offended by this, I would apologize, but I don't give a fuck. Go fuck yourself. <laughs>